Welcome back to Joe Stunner Boxing. Let's ask ourselves a question, okay? Because I was talking to a few people about this subject and I, I want to get your take on it. Um, would Tyson Fury, the Tyson Fury of four years ago, have beaten Alexander Usek? Because, as I've said many times before the Usek fight, I feel that Fury made a bad mistake in that he was it's seemingly trying to sort of age out Usek, which was an incredibly stupid thing to do because he he was forgetting that he himself was getting up there in age. I mean, he's is he is he thirty five now? Usyk's thirty seven, and clearly, you know, Fury's not he's not a stupid man. He's shrewd and he's he's not very honest, but he is intelligent enough to know that Usyk had lived the life. Alexander Usyk had not been someone who had you know um, drunk, put on weight, done all sorts of naughty extracurricular things, whereas Tyson himself has done that. Uh, therefore, Usyk at thirty seven chronologically older than than Tyson nevertheless he wasn't gonna he wasn't gonna age him out quite simply it was a it was wishful thinking it was fanciful at best and Fury himself they do say that people who can be very astute very insightful about others but don't have a great deal of of um, um, sort of inner perspective um, self-awareness uh, especially narcissists, which I think, and I think there's a fair, there's a fair um, argument to be made that Fury is a narcissist. Um, now, let's go back four years. Could Fury have beaten Usyk? I am someone, I've said this to a few people I've been chatting to, I'm someone who thinks that a peak Tyson Fury, because of his size and his undoubted skills, um, is very good, I mean, for a man of that size, to move like he does, jabs well, faints well, combinations, good to the body, not the heaviest hitter, especially considering his size, but as we know, power has a certain mystique about it. It's kind of, you're kind of born with it. You can improve your power using technique and training, but but you are kind of born with it to some extent. Um, but I think Fury would have beaten, if Prime Fury would have beaten Usyk. I know some of you are going to come for me on that statement, but that's, that's, just, the, that's just what I've always felt. I think It's like when Joshua and Fury were the two heavyweights and they were both undefeated. Um, I mean, I like Joshua, but I definitely think Fury would have beaten him then. Now I'm not. I'm not so sure. But um, but um, I suppose we're talking prime versus prime here. Now I think the difference is the size because if you look at the first six rounds against Usyk on Saturday, um, and I know some of you dispute the fact that after six rounds I had Fury heavily ahead. A lot of people have said, you're not counting the body punches. That's a valid point. I take your point. Yeah, okay. That's an argument that can be made. Maybe I need to go back again. I've, look, I've looked at it again, but maybe I need to go back again and look at the body work. <clears throat> it's possible I was, I, I didn't give Fury, uh, didn't give uh, Usyk enough credit for that. Okay, I, I, I take that argument. Um, but I do think Fury looked better than he, better than he probably ever has. Certainly better uh, than he's looked in, probably since the, first Wilder fight, maybe the Klitschko fight. He was boxing very well. Um, he wasn't landing a great deal, but then, Us but the, here's the thing. He was doing enough to make his size count because Usyk, although he, yes, he was, he did land some body punches, a few individual body punches. He landed the backhand, the Southpaw backhand, the, the left hand, he, he landed that a few times. Um, I'm thinking the end of one of the, one of the early rounds, he clipped Fury and Fury sort of mugged him. I mean, Fury was showboating and doing all that bullshit, which is nonsense. But nevertheless, um, you know, he, he, but the size seemed to, you use your attributes. And if you're on it, if you're in your prime, if you're physically fit, if you're mentally prepared, size is obviously an advantage. All those dimensions are obviously an advantage. Deontay Wilder is not a big man. He's very, very tall. He doesn't weigh much. Not for a guy of that height, but he uses that height. He did use that height to his advantage, and obviously he had that power. He was, you know, that one trick pony. But what a hell of a trick! Fury, when he's on it, as we saw with Klitschko, with Wilder, first time, and so on, he uses that size well, you know. And he's, he he used it against Steve Cunningham because he was getting outboxed by Cunningham. But it wasn't a good performance, but he got hold of Cunningham and he used the weight to drain Cunningham and eventually knock him out and so on. Um, but size can be a disadvantage as well because if you're not on it, if you're unfit, you know, it doesn't matter how big you are, you know, you're, you're puffing and puffing after a few rounds. 
Um, the, the fury, I'm assuming that fury of four years ago was mentally and physically prepared. I think he he probably outpoints Usyk, um, you know, 116, 112, 115, 113 maybe. Um, and uh, as you know, I'm a massive Usyk fan. This is not, not a disparaging comment towards Usyk. I just think that the size would be a bit big for Usyk, even though Usyk himself is not a small man. I keep saying this, he's six foot three and he's six, 16 stone and he's settled into that heavyweight division. Um, you know, he's, he's we, as we saw on Saturday, you know, he can hurt you badly. Uh, that's another thing as well, of course. Fury's punch resistance seems to be waning, um, whereas previously he'd go on the floor, didn't take a tremendous amount to put him on the floor, he'd get up and he'd be fine. His recuperative powers are fantastic. And he did show pretty good recuperative powers in the subsequent rounds, even though he lost them. Um, he hung in there and he, he had a smashed up nose and everything. And uh, Clearly, Lusek won that fight. You know, don't, don't get me wrong. Regardless of how you get the arguments about getting there, I think we most of us can agree that Usyk won that fight. I had it again. I had it one fifteen, one twelve when I watched it live. Um, but if Fury was younger, would he have been able to take those punches and not be on Queer Street flopping around? You know, doing a doing the Zab Judah jitterbug. Um, I suspect his punch resistance. Would have been better back then. I think so. You can go up and down in weight all the time. You can lose. You go on crash diets. You can do camps where you're losing weight as well as honing your skills. It just doesn't. If you don't live the life, I mean, Usek took some full bloody punches during those middle rounds against a much bigger man, a man who outweighs him by you know three stone or whatever, in natural weight, maybe even more. And yeah, he was rattled. Um, and at one point, Fury couldn't miss with the uppercut, and Fury landed some very good body punches himself. Usyk took him. Usyk took him. Why? Because he's lived the life, because he's, he's maximizing his potential, his talents. So <clears throat> to answer the, 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 my own question, the Tyson Fury, the peak Tyson Fury, in my opinion, stood a much, much better chance of outpointing the peak, Alexander Usyk. I'm not saying Usyk couldn't have beaten Fury back in the day, but I would definitely have picked Fury to beat Usyk three, four years ago, whatever. You know, you know, you know when, he, when he was in his prime, do you know what I mean? I just think he aged himself out, Fury, by trying to age out Usyk. And I think that was a really bad mistake on his part. So what do you think? Comments below, of course, as always. And please subscribe to the channel if you're new. We've had a, I've had a ton of subscribers, a ton of views over the weekend. This fight is, has, you know, set the world alight, the boxing world alight, which is great because it was a brilliant fight. I think it's a great advert for, for boxing, which we all want. We all want boxing to do well, of course. But please subscribe if you're new. Hit the like button if you like the video. And I much appreciate your time as always. Thank you. Thank you for all your comments on these videos. There are hundreds of comments. I, I try to read all of them. I genuinely do. I can't comment, reply on all of them. But please, if you leave a comment, even if it's you know in agreement with me, that's fine. We can all be disagree and be respectful. I do appreciate you leaving your comments. And thank you. I will catch you later, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy your day. Bye for now.